everyone today we'll cover a topic that comes under midwifery and obstetrical nursing uh, before going to the topic we'll see the introduction uh, midwife is the nurse who is taking care of the uh, women during pregnancy childbirth and the postnatal period in the postnatal period both the postnatal mother and the newborn till 28 days um, midwife uh, mostly the care is only the women centered care so here here the midwife will have so much of comprehensive and holistic and uh, uh, restorative and preventive care so today our topic is what is the roles of nurse mid, uh, nurse in midwifery and obstetrical nursing uh, midwifery and obstetrical nursing mainly we are giving care during the pregnancy that is the child bearing uh, then next uh, in the intranatal period that is a child birth and uh, last one is a uh, postnatal period after the delivery taking care of the postnatal mother and the newborn baby so first we will see what are the uh, nursing role that comes under antenatal period in the antenatal period first role is caregiver the nurse has to give a complete care for the pregnant mother and uh, like uh, health assessment physical examination uh, doing the admission procedure uh, conducting the clinic uh, for the first visit and the subsequent visit to note the who are the normal pregnant women and who are the high risk women in the normal pregnant women normal routine antenatal care can be given the high risk women can be screened detected and uh, we need to give a care to prevent the complications and uh, for the high risk uh, pregnancy women if needed hospitalization bed rest basic uh, care for the women and fetal well being need to be assessed so these are the role, uh, care that uh, role come under as a caregiver second one is clinician as a role of the clinician the nurse has to uh, plan the care according to the need of the pregnant women uh, prioritizing the nursing intervention so she 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 or he can assess the uh, pregnant women's uh, uh, what is the need what is the problem according to the problem they can prioritize the uh, need uh, nursing interventions and implement the nursing interventions and they can uh, see outcome of the care whether it is achieved or not and they can go with reevaluation or reassessment of the care so uh, mainly it comes uh, from the history collection admission procedure uh, then nest in the ward routine care and uh, till the discharge planning follow up as a nurse uh, she will do the care as a clinician then next one is teacher as a nurse uh, uh, the will give as a teacher role uh, she will teach us the uh, pregnant women related to what are the normal physiological anatomical psychological changes during the pregnancy how to cope up with the pregnancy how to identify the normal changes how to identify the warning signs during the pregnancy all measures can be teached as a as a nurse uh, like a teacher during the pregnant period second uh, next one is health educator so as a health educator uh, very much essential in order to prevent the complication and prevent the illness primary secondary prevention if you see health education is very much essential so here as a nurse in the pregnancy uh, she can de deliver the health education related the proper antenatal care proper visit immunization uh, intake of iron folic acid and calcium during the pregnancies and uh, uh, importance of uh, diet uh, importance of exercises importance of assessing the warning signs during pregnancy clothing traveling occupations so like the different aspects they can give the health education then next one is advocator as an advocator nurse has to uh, give a uh, proper uh, uh, decision making uh, informed choice for the uh, pregnant women uh, in a normal condition or in a high risk condition so if suppose she want to go with uh, uh, genetic screening uh, test like amniocentesis chorionic villi sample so as a nurse advocate uh, she can advocate the uh, women uh, according to their need they only can take the decision with which procedures uh, what are the risk is there what are the benefits is there what is the harm is there so they themselves can take the decision in order to go with the further procedure next one is uh, as a counselor counselor uh, very important role is there as a counselor 
counselor uh, uh, during the pregnancy as an antenatal care uh, she can uh, nurse can give the counseling second one is like uh, sex during the pregnancy related that counseling family planning measures uh, counseling can be given uh, counseling related uh, uh, high risk pregnancies genetic screening uh, test uh, uh, if any abortions or a high risk assessment is there related to that uh, counseling and uh, body images uh, disturbances during pregnancy related counseling emotional changes uh, uh, during pregnancy so there are different uh, aspects the nurse can give uh, counseling and she can uh, act as a counselor next one is communicator communicator whenever she is uh, finding the records and report uh, she can have a liaison offi officer between the uh, uh, patients and the doctors uh, through the records and report or from the uh, patients to the family members need based uh, communications can be given uh, so these are the major roles uh, that comes during the antenatal period next we'll see the uh, intranatal period intranatal period mainly the childbirth mainly four stages are there cervical stage then next delivery uh, stage placental stage and observation stage so very crucial uh, period the nurse has to be very vital role is there same way first one is caregiver the nurse has to give a complete uh, care during the uh, labor time uh, like uh, progress of the labor has to be monitored uterine contraction cervical dilatation descent of the fetus and uh, uh, when is the rupture of membrane when the labor pain has started complete history collection admission to the labor ward and enema giving perineal preparation and uh, maintaining the position left lateral position identifying any warning signs or uh, risk during the labor any obstruction of the labor maternal distress is there fetal distress is there fetal well-being can be assessed by fetal fhr doppler or non-stressed test continuous monitoring of the partograph during the first stage of labor pain measures uh, uh, maternal uh, 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 bearing down efforts so the all the measures can be uh, uh, assessed as a caregiver and complete basic uh, care can be given for the uh, labor women and second one is case manager nurse has to take a role as a manager all the activities in the ward routine has to be done she has to plan enough and whenever any high risk uh, emergency is there emergency care has to be given referral services uh, can be provided and have a uh, good uh, communications and uh, proper record and report and manage all the resources which is available in the labor ward man money uh, and uh, uh, related to the uh, facilities available in the labor ward that has to be coordinated next one is advocator advocator like a uh, nurse she has to give an uh, informed choice uh, uh, during a high risk uh, uh, labor such as going for any operative deliveries like cesarean section the decision has to be uh, taken by the uh, pregnant uh, that is the labor woman or the family members so like that uh, she can have a role and as a teacher she can teach the woman how to cope up with the uh, labor time how to uh, cope up with the pain measures how she has to cooperate for uh, delivering the baby and uh, how she has to uh, take care of the newborn immediately after the uh, labor so like that she can teach us the uh, pregnant uh, labor woman and next as a researcher she can do a uh, some of the research activities in order to uplift the care that is comes under the labor ward and next one is clinician clinician she can plan the uh, care uh, whatever is available in the labor ward and prioritize the care and uh, during the admission procedure discharge planning follow up advices can be given for the women and next as a change agent uh, uh, she can be a role model in among all the uh, workers and she can uh, do the work and make the other people also uh, potential effect to change in their activities and uh, change uh, in the labor ward routine care and next one is uh, uh, like a protector she can act as a protector by preventing the infections arranging the all the articles for the labor uh, for conducting the labor and for uh, 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 giving the immediate care of the newborn uh, so mother and both the baby care can be uh, given so immunization whatever is needed that all will give us a, uh, a protector for the mother and the babe next we'll see what are the roles that comes under the postnatal period postnatal period mother and the babe, baby care will be the general as a care uh, giver general care for the postnatal mother 
uh, postnatal assessment uh, and newborn assessment finding the normal characteristics of mother any risk is uh, present in the mother any risk in the newborn uh, can be assessed and the basic uh, routine uh, care such as episiotomy care uh, then next uh, cesarean uh, uh, section uh, care and uh, assessing the involution of the uterus assessing the uh, normal uh, uh, changes of a postnatal period can be done next one is uh, as a teacher she can uh, give a education regarding uh, uh, breastfeeding education regarding essential newborn care education regarding the immunizations uh, and education uh, regarding the nutritional and uh, uh, ne uh, next one is uh, she can go with uh, preventer of illness in the preventer of illness she can plan the postnatal uh, clinic uh, conductions and uh, immunization uh, uh, for the uh, newborn in order to prevent the illness and act as a uh, role in all the care. Uh, so other roles also there in the postnatal. These are the major roles that comes under antenatal, intranatal and postnatal. Next uh, we will see uh, as uh, Benner in 1984 they told about levels of uh, uh, levels of midwife roles like uh, no wins, uh, advanced beginner. Uh, competent uh, nurse, proficient nurse and expert nurse. No one's nurse as a student nurse when entering to the hospital we will gain a new experience in the labor ward or the antenatal or in the postnatal ward. Uh, next as an advanced beginner when we are working as a staff nurse we can get an adhere of skills of uh, uh, assessing and doing the care. Then next as a competent nurse as a few years of experience we will achieve a proper uh, uh, competence uh, care in giving a uh, uh, pregnancy, postnatal and uh, uh, intranatal period. Then as a, uh, we can go with uh, expert nurse. Expert nurse uh, through, throughout we are having a uh, several year of experience in a particular ward we can gain an expert in giving the care. So here uh, uh, I am concluding the uh, topic uh, that is the roles of uh, midwife in uh, uh, obstetrical nursing. So we have uh, seen today different roles of uh, nurse in the antenatal, intranatal and postnatal period. Today I am signing off Mrs. Nima. This video will meet again. Thank you.